Am I allowed to make noise? Yeah, we've got no choice. Probably. I mean, I knew that part, but I didn't know the other part. I haven't started yet. Okay. Also, um, what are we going to say? We don't know. Also, Dave's on me now. Why are you unboxing? Oh, hi, buddy. Mossery. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yep. Yep. But so yep. Funny. You're so cute. Oh my god. Thank you for the bath. Should we get this box open though? <laughs> in the box. Could you help? Could we open the box? video could be like three minutes of this. There's definitely planners in this box though. And it's November 3rd, Dave. We post a video on People December 26th called Unboxing Day. Yes, good idea. Cool. <coughs> what do we have to say? What? That's the gag reel. No worries. Um, oh, bye Dave. We're in. Let's do it! You rolling? <laughs> okay, cool. Hello YouTube! Meredith Moore here at Wonder Fair, 841 Massachusetts Street, Lawrence, Kansas, ready with another unboxing video for you. It's the last of our somewhat useful planner series where we're going to show you some of our favorite planners that we get here at Wonder Fair. This is an unusual one, a little, um, more underground, if you will, it's the Mossery Planner out of Malaysia. Small designer group makes these, and they're made with the finest quality of fountain pen friendly papers. Not thin paper, but heavier weight. So for you folks who want to also do some light watercolor washes on your planners um, or similar, the Mossery might be a really good choice for you. They also make wonderful sketchbooks and notebooks. Uh, but those have already arrived. We've been waiting patiently for the planner part of our order for a minute. And then Dave made us wait a little longer because he just loves boxes. Who can blame him? Um, later we should think about how many cats are on YouTubes and also box videos and how there's probably some relationship between cats loving boxes and people loving unboxing videos and cat videos on YouTube. But for now, planners. Bubble wrap. So beautifully packaged. Got a nice, let's get a shot of this very beautiful packing. Just two beautiful rows of planners in there. Yummy. Looking good. Mossery switched to a slightly harder back version of their original planner, which they just started making maybe three or four years ago. So. Uh, they're evolving all the time, making their product better and better. We're going to start out by just showing off some of their beautiful covers, and then I'll open one and we'll look inside. So, got a really nice design here, a little bit of a poppy feel, appropriate for those of us living here in Kansas, aka Oz. Cool. A little bit of a gradient. We're gonna go rapid fire through this, and in post production, I'm gonna make Paul just like speed up this video. Can we do that, Paul? Shrug. Well, then I'll just do it physically fast. Lemon tree, adorable corgi butts, kitty cats, speckle black. Ooh, I memorized these, I guess. Uh, some kind of marbled green lava. Mm, classy burgundy, upside down. You don't have to use it upside down. Black speckle again, kitty cats again, corby butts again, lemon trees again, 
Awesome. Let's start box two. Whoosh. Martha Stewart movie magic. I've had this one in the oven for a while. But it's still sealed and totally fresh, so I guess I forgot to put the oven on. That happens on Bake Off all the time. It makes less sense in an unboxing video, so I'm not going to use that line again. It's just like not logical. Okay, don't apply heat to your planners at all. Especially if you use those friction markers where the writing disappears when they get hot in your car window. Oh, sorry, Dave. He doesn't mind. You're welcome. All right, box two. Equally lovely. With a selection of sample planners for us. Mossery's samples always come in these super cute boxes with little strings. We'll get into this a little bit later. Side. And in this box, we have more green marbles and burgundies. What's different in here? Nothing. Same as these. Okay, we've seen maybe our five or six cover designs. It's been so long since I ordered, I can't remember. So let's switch our camera angle and look inside the Mossery Planner. Okay, Mossery Magic time. Um, they've sent us samples so that we can show you inside. It's the first year that Mossery has made a stitch bound book that lays super flat. So you can see how that works. The cover, kind of like a Hobonichi, but all in one piece, is tucked into a pocket in the front so that you have an open spine here so you can get that flat lay going um, for what all your flat lay needs. And they are legion, because this is the year 2018, but not for long. Okay, so going into 2019, Mossery starts with some beautiful illustrations. A lot of illustrators choose Mossery books, so that makes a lot of sense for them. They definitely gear themselves towards the um, artist with their paper choices. You get a little bit of dot grid pages in here. They're self -guide they have a little guidance, but of course you can do whatever you want. It's total anarchy once it's your planner. So you could put a self-portrait there or whatever. There's a little bit of guidance about list making and goal setting. If you choose not to have any goals in 2019 and you've given up but you still need to know when to go to the dentist, that's your choice. Um, and you can just skip those pages, but I recommend having a few goals. I mean, just to start it out, you can see how flat these are all going to lay because of that stitch binding. You can even illustrate across two pages. So you get a little bit of empty space in the front. Then you're going to get into yearly openings so you can map out your year on a wider view going into the next. And then we're going to drop into some classic monthly openings. So nothing too unusual here, just a lot of nice open space and some list ticking boxes, some weekly goals areas. Then you're going to keep on cruising through the year. So we got weekly, we got monthly openings followed by weekly openings. So if you're one of those people who wants to have your month followed immediately by the weeks of that month, this might be a good planner choice for you. As you can see, we're going to cruise through the book with the same layout where we start with the month and then go into the weeks of the month all the way through to the back. I don't know what's at the end of this book. Totally Elmo style. Was that Elmo? Cookie Monster? Nobody knows what I'm talking about right now. It doesn't matter and it's not unusual. We're at the end. Another pocket and a bookmark. Excellent. If you'd like some tabs, you'd have to add those yourself, but there would be a little bit of space for them right there in that margin. When you strap your book up, oh, let's mark a page. Let's see. March. And good to go. So this is the um, weekly vertical layout, I believe. Let's double check my math on that. Yep. So vertical columns for every day where you can mark your appointments. So if you need appointment setting, the weekly vertical might be for you. If you um, choose to ignore the um, clock, if you don't believe in appointment setting, 
and you perhaps prefer to have a more freeform day, you might choose the horizontal layout, which is gonna let you uh, just do some note taking on your day. You might set out a few appointments along the side, but there's no guidance of the hours of the day. So if your day runs on an unusual timetable or you're less concerned with appointment setting as compared to um, assignment notation or journaling, you might choose the horizontal layout. So horizontal, vertical, two beautiful choices from Mossery, one of my favorite notebook makers. That is all. There are no jokes about this one, everybody, because it's just a nice planner. And you know what we need right now? Something nice. The world is trash, um, but the future could be bright. So get yourself a planner, make a plan to vote in November, eh, unless you live in another country, the end. All right, switching back to camera one. Um, we're just going to close it out. I've actually given you more information in this video than I feel is really appropriate for this unboxing series, so I really got to cut myself off uh, to save my reputation. Um, but if you want to know more about the Mossery Planner or make it part of your life, you we don't we don't even internet. This is it, folks. So you can call our store, and a human being will talk to you about the Mossery Planner. Call us. We'll put up the number. It's going to be like old TV seven eight five. 856-3247. Nailed it, Dave. Um, give us a call during our shop hours, which are 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and we can either help you buy a Mossery Planner stateside and have it shipped to you for a much lower price and at a much faster rate, or we can just chat about planners. Um, the Mossery Planner is priced around $30, so it's a really good value for a really good quality paper, fountain pen friendly very highly functional 2019 planner. Um, yep, I'm done now. The collar's really itchy, but it's Christmas sweater season. So get ready for some serious unboxings coming up at Wonder Fair, where we're receiving a lot of things every day. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. It also has a cover, I'm sorry. I even had a gag plan for that and I goofed it up. Um, so take two with Dave. Uh, you can also cover your Mossery Planner for safety and security. Um, that's it. This time for real.